YouTube, my name is Mesa Sean, and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. All right, it is Friday, it is Thursday, we are streaming live right here on YouTube Gaming, where you could find where Zer is right away at reset. And then I trim this down to a little video, and uh, we're going to go see what he has, uh, where he's located, and also give you the trials information either right away, right now, or at the end of the video, or at the top of the description. I know right now the map is Anomaly this week, and also Three Winds is going to be Chess Piece, okay? Zur right now is located over on Nessus. You want to fly into Watcher's Grave and make your way up to this little tree right here. So let's see what Uncle Zur has for us today. Zur, now he normally would have an exotic quest, cipher quest here, but I already have it because I needed to get an, a cipher. Okay, we've got the Fighting Lion. We've got the Sixth Coyote for the Hunter, the Armamentarium for the Titan, and Wings of Sacred Dawn for the Warlock. And we'll check the stat rolls in a second here. Exotic Anger, buy this on a character that you need something on. It will not give you duplicates, and if you already have everything outside of quest exotics, it should give you a piece of armor, hopefully with a better stat roll than you have already. Uh, Fighting Lion, I've not used this in ages. Delayed gratification, grenade projectiles will bounce off of surfaces. You gotta press R2, fire to release to detonate, and it is a void. You also have Thin the Herd. Direct hits do more, dam uh, do more damage to enemy combatant shields. Rapidly killing against grenade damaged enemies refills the magazine. Kills always drop primary ammo, okay? So, the 6 Coyote, you just simply gain a second dodge. But we do have a 66 stat roll with, look at that mobility. 23. Hmm. But is this going to make me want to take off my... See, on the Hunter, I'm always using... I'm still using Star Reader Scales. I like Orpheus Rig. I like Raiden Flux. I like Shards. And I love Mask of Bacchus for Stasis. So, I don't know. That's a good stat roll. If you like a second dodge, maybe, in PvP, grab it. Okay, Armamentarium. Simply, you gain a second grenade. There we go. Yay. 62 stat roll. 14 mobility, 14 resilience, and 16 intellect discipline. Uh, kind of an even distribution, but no recovery, no strength. So, take that as you may. All right, uh, Wings of Sacred Dawn. These are awesome. I love these for the uh, top tree dawn blade. And besides looking absolutely gorgeous, bloody gorgeous, 64 stat roll. So, when Dawnblade is equipped, aiming weapons while you're uh, mid-air will suspend you there for a short time, improving airborne accuracy, reducing incoming flinch, and granting damage resistance. Weapon hits extend the effect's duration. So, we call these floaty boys, or we used to call them floaty boys in trials, because they'd be floating up in the air with their revoker and sniping down upon us, okay? And then normally you would have an exotic quest here, which I should have in my inventory. Xenology, we need to complete 21 strikes to get an exotic cipher. Where there, uh, From there, you then go and you can buy an exotic from the exotic kiosk. But let's look at Twitter. So, map is anomaly for Trials of Osiris. Uh, three wins is going to be the chest armor. Seeing right now, uh, if there's anything else on light.gg, nothing just yet. I'm going to put the rest of them at the, the, at the top of the description there for you guys, okay? So, that's going to do it for the video, guys. I'm going to trim this down. And uh, I'm out of here. Well, no. I, I don't want to go to the outro just yet. Leave me a hashtag made it to the end if you did make it to the end. And do me a favor. Drop a like on this video only if you see fit. Follow me on Twitter at MesaShawn. Check out my stream. Usually no one's on YouTube and that's it. I'm out of here like Vladimir.